Hi there, Renee Asse of Lowell, Massachusetts, day eight of my novena of Romantic Saints, St. Philomena, and the free will that has to come with love. St. Philomena was never married. She rejected marriage from one particular emperor, and the emperor was not happy. Her parents tried to force her into this marriage. She refused. What did the emperor do? Put her in jail and then killed her. That's what happens to women who, with, who assert their free will, apparently. Um, but love cannot be under coercion, ever. It comes from discernment and free will of these two individuals. And they figure out and understand themselves as whole beings. You cannot just pick out of a crowd, somebody you just met in, within like four hours on... I'm going to marry you. I just love at first sight. Yes, we all say that, but that's not really romantic. The romance is this courtship, is the discernment of understanding the whole person. And that's what I'm learning from St. Philomena. Yes, you know, she was a consecrated virgin. She did not want to marry whatsoever. But we all have that free will. Unfortunately, there were consequences for her rejecting the emperor and nobody should ever be in that situation as a woman or as a man today we have unfortunately domestic abuse situations where there's constant love bombing intimidation um it can be either by the the male or the female by the way then majority of the cases it's usually the male doing the love bombing the manipulation the gaslighting coercion and the woman is losing her free will to discern this relationship. Um, so I know it's not the most tenderest, nicest thing about romantic tweets. But it is a part of love. The free will aspect that you cannot coerce, intimidate, manipulate, love bomb another individual into love. Love you all.